Oh, crud. Falls immediately. Uh, okay, I think we're good now. So this is probably how I'm going to have them displayed on my shelf. A while ago, in school, we made these little cardboard buildings. This one's like a farmhouse. This is like a grain elevator. I don't know what that is. It just says it in big bold letters here. So I've got the backdrop right here. You can't see it well because of the lighting. Um, but this is probably how I'm going to have them displayed. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to display them. Probably, on, I mean, obviously on my shelf right there that I got recently. But, um, oh jeez. But, I mean, yeah, this is how I'm going to have them displayed. Uh, I'll do a quick review on them. Hold on. Just grab them here. Okay, this thing, is, I mean, this is heavy. This is a lot heavier than I expected. Just take that out. So. Um, well, first, I guess we'll start at the head, and we'll just go down from there, I guess. I mean, yeah. How else would we do it? <laughs> There's lots of ways. Okay, so, you can't see him. Um, so here he is. He's freaking sweet. So, start at the head. So, he's got... I mean, all Nucka Godzillas have the same articulation besides in the tail. And some have knuckle bends, but others don't. The two I have are the ones that do have knuckle bends. So, anyways, 62 right here. Um, again, I don't think you can see him that well because of the lighting, but yeah, his jaw is on a hinge. It's really detailed in there. It's got, like, details on the top of his mouth, on his tongue. He's got one really big tooth on the left side of his mouth, but... I mean, I don't really care. Um, he's got a ball joint, like, right where the head, like, starts off from the neck. And then at the base of the neck, and it's got a very stiff, I think, ball joint. I think everything on here is a ball joint besides the hands and the, the jaw. Um, and then for the hands and the arms, we've got... Probably not full 360. I don't want to break it. It's really, really stiff. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say it goes back about that far. Actually, no, it can do a full 360, but I'm, it, it probably can. But I'm not gonna try. It. I don't want to break this thing. This thing is expensive, and I, I know, I know that for sure. These necker things are, they get expensive over time. They get really expensive. Um, I don't know how much this was, cause I mean, I didn't buy it. His elbow is, like, really loose here. That's not good. Um, but he's got, like, you know, elbow bend up, bend down. He's got swivel, full 360 there. Oh, man, that's loose. That's really loose. That's scary. I don't like that. Uh, he's got thing on the wrist. You know, and then, at, like, right where his fingers end, like, at the knuckle. He can, like clench his fist, not really that well on this hand, but on this other hand, he can, like, grab a lot better, he'd probably grab something, like, I can grab a, a dinosaur off my shelf, like this thing, and he can probably grab it in his hand, this little ankylosaurus, I mean, he could probably grab the thing by the tail or something, I mean, I probably need something with a longer tail, actually, but, you get the gist of it, he can grasp a lot better with that hand but um the other one is more just a hand you know it's just there because it needs to be but um oh back to the head real quick you just grab his atomic breath there's like little marks for his teeth to go in on it mine is a bit warped like bent but i mean that's fine one problem i have with this atomic breath other than the bent which is not on everybody's the color this is the same piece same exact piece same paint and everything as the 54 one this thing is pure white with a little bit of like brown here and there this was godzilla's first movie in color like at least put like a little wash of like blue on it come on nigga you're better than this <laughs> but i don't really mind it it's godzilla and he's cool so yeah you just he's got a hole in the back of his throat just slip it in there. 
open his mouth as wide as you can when you're putting it in. And then once it's in, make sure you can get his teeth in those little holes there. And then close his mouth onto it. And boom! He's got his atomic breath. So anyways, at like, in his stomach, he's got... It's, again, all these joints are really tight because this thing has never been opened. But it's got a little swivel like at his stomach there. Probably a bit of like a... Like a lean forward, but I'm not going to try. I will break it. <laughs> he's got, right at the base of his leg, he's got like an outwards kicking. Like, because of the way it rotates, it just always goes straight outwards at the knee. He's got a very snappy joint there. Um, like, you'd be fighting Kong and like, boom, just... It's like Mortal Kombat, but it's Godzilla and Kong. That'd be weird. Uh, he's got a little swivel at the foot, but let's be honest, who's going to use that? He's got a peg in his foot. I'm assuming there's some kind of stand for these. I don't have one, so I have no use for that hole in his foot. It doesn't bother me, because, I mean, I have him on the shelf. And his feet are touching the ground, so you're not going to see it. He actually has scaling on the bottom of his feet for some reason. I mean, maybe some people might have them displayed, like, getting knocked over. Because there is a NECA King Kong, but it's not the Kong from this movie. And it's not at all on scale with Goji. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why they do show the feet. I mean, I don't have a problem with it, but it's just weird that they did that. But on his tail has... I'm not going to even call this a joint right here, because, I mean, it's... I mean, it's definitely a ball joint there, but it does, yeah, I mean, again, this figure's never been opened. And then, I believe the bit that you put in, yeah, you can tell, uh, it starts right here. It's a ball joint there. Ball joint. There, oh no, this is where you put it in. This bit's already on there. Can you see that well? You can see the crease. There's a ball joint. Here's supposed to be a ball joint. Here's a ball joint. And then there's a ball joint right in right here. So, um, that thing's really squeaky. I don't even think it's in all the way. I might, ah, whatever. I'll probably have it up like that on the shelf. Because that's how I like my Godzilla's. Even though, like, they don't do that. Shin's the only one who does this. I don't care, though. It looks cool. I might have him, like, I mean, maybe like this. If I can find a way to make that look natural. <laughs> I might have him with his tail curved like that. Or maybe up and, like, kind of to the side. Kind of like what Shin Goji would do, but not really. But, speaking of Shin Goji, um, I'll have to wait for him to get here. Or, actually, get to my dad's. Because my dad ordered the Bandai vinyl Shin Godzilla. Actually, I think I might have mentioned that earlier in this video, but... I think I've mentioned it before in one of my videos, but, um... Yeah, this dude's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, that's, I mean, that's all the articulation, that's everything about him. He is. I mean, he's sweet, though. I love this thing. This thing is awesome. I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with a 9.5 out of 10. It's just... It's the hands. The knuckle joint. I love that it's there. That is awesome. I don't have any toys anywhere. Not just Godzilla. I don't have any toys that aren't like Lego with finger hinges. Um, not like a Lego minifigure, but big robot. I did a review on him. Um, I think I did. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I, I like that some of the, the NECA Godzillas have knuckle movements like that. But on this dude, this hand only goes about halfway, and one hand looks like he's grabbing something. So... I don't really appreciate that, how they're, like, different. In this one, the figures are, like, super spread, spread apart. In this one, they're, like, touching. They're, like, warped together. I saw other people had having issues with that, so... Yeah, and this elbow joint is really, really loose, and it's scaring me. I don't know why. I know it's not gonna fall off, but it's just scaring me. I don't like loose joints. It's not okay. <laughs> because, like, he's gonna be on my shelf, and he's just gonna start falling down. I mean, I'm probably going to have him 
his hands up because Godzilla sometimes does like weird crap with his hands when he's doing his atomic breath. So I'll probably have him going like this, maybe. I'm thinking this looks pretty neat. Just like this. Going on the building. But I mean, uh, yeah, this thing's this thing's good. If you have the money, <laughs> I would definitely recommend get this figure if you like the show design of him kind of looking like a frog. Really, if you just like the suit, get this figure, definitely. It's, I mean, I've, I don't have any Monster Arts figures, SH Monster Arts, but I've seen the video, I've seen some reviews for this guy. He doesn't look, I think the NECA one looks a lot better. Um, why? I mean, he's still freaking awesome. I love this dude. He's so cool. And, and with the 54, I don't know if I'm going to take him out of the package. Because I think I have to look it up. I said that in the other video, I think. I think that's like a rare packaging for him. So I don't know. Hope it isn't so I can open him. But if it is, I might keep him in the box. But I mean, this dude I'm keeping in the box because it's the poster art version. And I want to have this displayed on my shelf. It's the poster for the movie. Might have to tape it together because it's tore it in part freaking one of this. Actually, I'll see if I can upload the videos together as one big thing. But yeah, there's 1962 King Kong vs. Godzilla NECA action figure Godzilla. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I, yep. <laughs> it, it, I'm, I changed my mind from that last bit. It's worth the pain from opening this box. It's uh, it's definitely worth all that pain. It's it's worth it. Trust me. Just get buy it. Buy it. It's good. <laughs> Bye.